Let me change the scoreboard here. Alright, this is bad for uh for Yun. Nice setup there with the cross up fierce. Okay, he's gonna work on a P here. Style with the uh... Oh wow. Really Charmaine? Alright. Charmaine looking pretty free here. I smell a rage quit. Okay, no punish with that whip slide. I Peru doing a good job of not hitting buttons. All right, what pretty much what Sherman wants to do is stay, stay, stay on the ground. He does not want to get knocked down. Good damage off of that. Saw that uh, I Peru had the meter and read the EX uh, EX run out. You can actually throw him out of that, so that was a good read by Shermaine. Good back dash. Hey Red, fuck you. Alright, Shermaine hitting buttons trying to get out of there. I prove looks like he's gonna play the patient game here. Doesn't want any part of that uh, damage that a young can actually output. Hits him with the standing roundhouse twice. Two kicks to the chest for the win. At least Jermaine didn't like, uh, completely free that game. Let's see if he can adjust. Like the main thing against most people who play Forte is because not a lot of people are fully comfortable with the matchup. Once you get knocked down. It's the it's the hardest guessing game you ever play in your life. So your objective is to stay off the ground when fighting against Fuerte. And Charmaine did a pretty good job of that second round, but that third round he got caught. So in order for Charmaine to be able to take this comfortably, he's gonna make sure he have he has to keep Fuerte off of him. And especially do not let him knock him down. But also, I mean it's it kinda works the same way, like Yun wants to actually, he, he wants to work to get that knockdown on Iperu because Fuerte doesn't have a good wake up game at all. You can pressure him so hard, especially when he has no meter. And if he has meter, he's only limited to certain things, so it's it's still in your favor. But uh, one thing um, Sherman needs to keep in mind is, I've watched a lot of Iperu's fights. He does like to wake up Ultra. He will wake up Ultra you. And he lands it quite a bit, yes, you know, 80% of the time. I'm not going to lie. He will do it, so he needs to watch out for that. Hit him with that same setup, that uh, cross-up fierce. All right, let's see if he can make something off this knockdown. Goes for the command throw. El Forte actually has very, very low health. He needs to, uh, he needs to pressure more instead of with the throws because he's only going to get a, a limited amount of damage off of those throws, and then he's going to be set up in another guessing game. And you know he's not making the right decision, so he needs to take more damage and he needs to pressure more on uh, Akru's wake up. Yeah, uh, Charmaine kind of looking a little mind fucked right now, not knowing what to do.
All right, uh, really not much to say there. You know, I Peru is just kind of just walking all over, all over Shermane. Name will look pretty free. But you know, I don't believe Shermane. This is this is a hard matchup. Nobody likes playing a good Forte. Everybody, everybody, be sure to uh, to enter the contest to win uh, these free T-shirts, guys. Show your love for the traveling circus, guys. Show your love for the channel. Wow, this is just this is sad. I feel I feel kind of bad for Sherman. I, he's just it's not that he's just a bad player. It's just this matchup's very yeah, annoying. You can tell that he doesn't fully know the match. And you know that nerfed Yun definitely does not help. But I Iproof smells blood and he's going in hard. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can. Okay. Not sure what he was trying to bait there. Not Peru takes the lead to three zero. I can see a lot of uh, fraud talk coming in in the next couple of days about this match. A lot of it coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> Snooch talking shit over here. Anyone else having problems with the stream lagging? My chat just won't load up. Uh. Okay, let's see if Charmaine can make some adjustments to start to swing this this first five in his favor. Oh, we got an air throw from Forte, and that already leaves Yan on the ground. This is not looking good. Nice block. Now Forte's in the corner. Oh, another another belly splat.
Okay, it looks like he's actually gonna maybe seal the seal around. Follow up. Okay, yeah, good stuff by uh, Shermaine. I think he's tired of this. He's gonna come back. I have faith. Option select. Mistimes it. Working on a perfect here. Looks like he's gonna get it. Everybody in the stream chat just seems so let down right now. Chat won't load anymore. Yeah, Swoosh, I had to, uh, I refreshed my page and I had to let it just go for a little bit and it came up eventually. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, that's, it seems to be a problem with Twitch, you know? Like, sometimes people stream would randomly go out while, you know, it, it, it's, it's online for others. It's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, I hope they fix this in the near future. Anyways, guys, uh, please stick around for the co-main event and main event coming right up. Banana Ken is going to be going up against Shinji. And then we're going to have for the main event, Razor Latif versus Weirdo Neo. The match that we've all been waiting for. After this match, we're going to do a, a brief stream re restart. Maybe we can fix up the, uh, the lag for most of the viewers here. All right, Charmaine putting the pressure on. Oh my god, yeah, this is very frustrating. He's fishing for the ultra there. It's not fair that Forte has an air throw. This could be it. That is it. Iperu takes it 5-0 and a complete, complete bodying over Shermaine. Pretty much called it not because Sherm is a bad player, but because that matchup, especially with Young's nurse, is just horrible.